I'm Ben with the BTC Sessions, and this is your bullish bid, brought to you by Voltage, offering enterprise-grade infrastructure services for Bitcoin like hosted nodes, BTC Pay Server, and inbound liquidity. You can check them out now at Voltage.cloud. We're witnessing now a change of the guard more than anything else. Like yeah. uh, it's it's more than we we see it we see it as late stage fiat was mentioned in today's show. The U.S. dollar is, is losing its dominance, and just we could see it on so many levels with the United States, sorry, with China, getting buddy buddy with uh, India, Saudi Arabia, Russia. It's 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 just it's inevitable that it's the U.S. dollar will just lose its world reserve currency status. And as we move forward, that more people adopt Bitcoin, more countries adopt Bitcoin, more companies adopt Bitcoin, it could be used then as a currency moving forward too. So when it comes to a point when fiat collapses. What do you do at that point? What, how do you function? Well, Bitcoin could potentially fill the void in that regard because you will have a lot more opportunities to actually spend it and to use it for buying goods and services. So it's it's a it's a it would be in a really good position to do so. I, I think that it was something else to consider too. Bitcoin it came at the perfect time. If it came ten years too early, it would have never been adopted. If it came ten years too late, it would have been too late. It was a, the exact perfect time where you had after the 2008 economic collapse you had people that have computers in their in their uh, pockets and you're able to essentially transact maybe not at the onset of bitcoin but all this would happen at the right time and it's like lightning in a bottle and this can never have been predicted and cannot be replicated it's just absolutely perfect timing